Hello there and welcome to Fairland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you how I made this very simple plant holder if you want to hang your plant from the ceiling. Let's get into the video. I'm using some jute. This is a natural material but you can use any string that you have. I'm also going to recycle this candle holder that the candle is finished and I'm also going to use this baby little prayer plant because it needs a new little home. You'll need eight pieces of string, all the same length. Go to the end of the string and tie a little knot. Now the amount you leave at the bottom is up to you. Add a little bit onto the measurement if you kind of want a longer dangly bit. I just wanted a bit of short bit. Get your little container that it's going to hold and pop it over it, two strings per direction. So now we've got our basic shape. Again, it's going to be different depending on the size of your container. So measure out like I did there with my fingers and then tie a knot. And do the exact same at the same length for the other three directions of string. You want them all the same length where the knot is so that it's going to be kind of balanced. So there, the first knot, and you can just check it out there if you want. Next, I'm just showing you from this side, because what you're going to do is take one string from each side, measure where you want it, tie a knot. We've got one done, and then repeat with the other three directions. So the string from either one, like so, like I'm doing here, pull it across, and then it's going to be the same length as the one we just did. I really hope this makes sense. It's really super simple. And then once you've got this basic, you can really get creative. Then the other one, one string from each direction come together and the same measurement at the top. And then for the last two pieces, you'll need to kind of bring it all together get the final two strings and tie the knot and they all should be level and if they're not just jiggle it around and refix the knots until they're all at the same length. Next pop it on to your container and then measure again where you want one just at the top. Take it off and repeat the exact same process as you did before. One knot and then another one in all the other directions taking one string from either direction and tying it together. And there all the knots are done. Get your container back and just pop it on like so. And this is what it looks like when it's hanging. So you can see it's not really fussy if they're not exactly the same. All that's left to do is pick the length that you want and then go down a little bit before tie the knot here and then just at the very very top tie another one and this just depends how long you want it and how much string you want dangling but I always do one knot then the second one so I have the bit of the hook. Pop your cute little plant in. So anytime I'm watering I can either take this out and water it or I can keep it in there and at least it's not damaging the actual twine and that's it. So simple, extremely sturdy, the most basic knots you could do. And this is the big plant in the background that this little baby is from. So cute. So thanks very much for watching. I really hope you like this. It's super basic. And if you want more of these type of things, then let me know. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.